Hey guys, welcome back. For today's video, we're going to be showing you an empty house tour of the house we just bought. We're super excited we get to share this with you guys, so let's go on inside. So as soon as you walk in, let me shut the door. As soon as you walk into your left, you got the stairs. I'll take you up there later. To your right, you got the dining room. Super small, but it's cute. Over here is the living room. We plan on taking up this carpet and putting in hardwood floors. Painting the walls a new color. Over here we got the kitchen, which this is my favorite part of the house because it's just open and really pretty. We got the windows over here as well. So lots of good natural lighting. Over here, I don't really know what you would call this. I guess it's just like a little nook. What would you call this? Just entryway. Entryway? Okay. Right here we've got a half bath. This house has four bedrooms and two and a half bath, right? Yep. This is the garage. It's smaller or is it about the same size? It's the same size. It's probably actually bigger. The only difference in this garage and our last garage is we've got like a little area over here, which is kind of cool. I've never seen it before in a garage. So we'll figure out what to do with that later. You show the floors. Mm -hmm. These floors are really nice. We're thinking about keeping these floors. I think that's it for down here. We've got like a little coat closet right here. I'll take you guys upstairs. This is where all the bedrooms are. This right here is the guest bathroom. Super cute, small, simple. This is one of the bedrooms. We're thinking about making this one the guest bedroom. Got a window and a closet. Another little closet right there. Here's another bedroom. This will be Aaron's man cave slash office. <laughs> Hallway. Attic is up there, not that exciting. And then this will be my office slash filming room. Lots of natural lighting right there. Coming in here, this is going to be the master bedroom. Super spacious. It's a lot bigger than what we have right now, so it's pretty nice. I love this fan right here as well. And right here we've got the, well that's the fan. We've got our bathroom, which is pretty nice. We've got a tub, a nice shower. Double vanity, which is really nice. And then here's our tiny little toilet. <laughs> and our closet. I believe that's it, ain't it? Or should we take them outside? Oh, uh, we can look at the backyard. Yeah, now we'll go to the backyard. How big is this house? Do you remember? Uh, about 2,000 square feet. Yeah. So the one thing we don't have in our house right now is stairs, so it's kind of nice that we have stairs again. We plan on changing this right here as well, correct? Yep. to the backyard. This yard is huge. Comparatively. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love this yard because it's got this tree over here. I feel like it would be really nice for Chevy. Lots of shade. 
shady areas for him. Yeah, nice backyard. <laughs> I think that's yeah. everything. Now we're out here at the front of the house. Yeah. Now we gotta do a little work. So. Lots of renovations we wanna do. Now we gotta take out this giant weed tree. Essentially is what it is. Because it is blocking and I think it's messing with this AC unit. So I gotta pull that out, clean all those out so it actually runs functionally. Yeah. But I didn't even know that tree was there. Yeah, the seller, the seller gave us money to fix it, but I'm like, it's something I can do myself, so I might as well take advantage of it. Um, next, this little bush area, uh, creating a rock, a red chip, a red wood chip bed, um, getting all this stuff tilled up, cleaned up, uh, so that, that looks nice and presentable. Mm -hmm. um, same with this area over here. Um, just doing the same thing. I got to see where where all these roots go to. Hopefully, it's not these trees. This stuff will be super easy. Yeah, it's not going to take too much. Just got to get a couple more tools to, to get that done, but yeah. uh, that shouldn't be too hard. Um, and then over here, uh, we've house. got these giant trees in front of the house. Yeah, we, I, I got to still got to decide what to do about that, but we definitely got to trim it up because it's yeah. it's a little obnoxious. Um, I guess we don't necessarily have to take them out. No. Is that an option or? I mean, it is. I just, I mean, I could cut them down and then and then get some uh, some stump grinding done and just get rid of all of them all together. Yeah. Um, but if not, just again create another red wood chip or rock bed. Yeah. Probably red wood chips will look better because uh, they're trees. Yeah. Uh, and, and just completely relandscape it because it, it looks. We can at obnoxious. least we can at least trim them down because this one's like really obnoxious. Yeah, it's really <laughs> in the in the, in the face because uh, the the original pictures we had they were like baby trees. So it was just these two trees, wasn't it? Because this one wasn't there. No, they all were. All they all were. Actually, oh, I think there were five of them in that one. They were just all small and then oh. they, they pulled out a couple. Yeah, <laughs> this tree is huge. It's tall. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's kind of in the way. Yeah. And then I got to pressure wash everything because we got a bunch of. Uh, bunch of dark spots dirt and all in the brick and stuff like that so I think uh, yeah that doesn't look nice I at think all with what we got uh, we got a little bit of uh, return money which is good so we're gonna might invest in, the, in a better pressure washer I got one but it's not very powerful so uh, something a little more powerful to clean that off and uh, make it look good as new so get the whole driveway done hopefully and the walkway and the porch take care of the back later yeah but and then uh, hopefully paint, repaint the house. It's, it's kind of oh a, yeah. It's kind of this ugly light green beige type color with uh, with terribly marked uh, paint spots at some of the uh, right there paneling seams. So uh, our, uh, our inspector gave us gave us uh, some good good people to reach out to for for paint jobs. But we'll see.